What really appealed to me about this garden was the organic curves that Thomas has included. It's such an irregularly shaped garden and it's very angular and what he's done is soften it with a curve and he's really drawn your eye to the end of the garden so it's quite an interesting journey throughout the space. I think he's done it really really well and as a result there's no wasted space in the garden. Everything has a clever use, all the curves work together and it's a really soft environment. It's really important when designing any space, whether it's internal or external, to, to give the user a journey that they can follow so that it's not just, it's not just a room with things in it or it's not just a garden. It, it actually gives you quite an experience throughout it. Thomas went for quite a neutral base. He matched the house with the stone clay colour. There is quite a lot of it, so to contrast against that, he incorporated a really nice mural on two of the walls. And the contrast was really, really strong because it's such a light background. The black really, really stands out and you straight away see the image of the dandelions that he's created. If you're going to do something similar at home, it's a very, very easy way to get quite a strong impact. And it can be very fun and playful too. Although he used black, you'd get away with using any bright, vibrant colors. And you can do the mural to suit you, to suit your family. You know, if you've children, it could be something relating to them. It could be names of the family, anything like that to really add some personality. And I think the, the more vibrant, the more eye-catching, the better. Lighting is one of the single most important things in any design, whether it's interior design or exterior design. And I was so happy that Thomas considered lighting in his layout. I know it adds cost to any job, but it is well worth the money. And he incorporated lighting in two elements in the garden, but I particularly like his mushroom lighting down at the seating area. It just makes the seating area so much more functional. You know, we live in a climate where it's grey skies quite a lot, and I think Really, you can make the most of the space now that it can be lit at night time. The lights themselves are beautifully created as well. There's really, really delicate wood turning on the mushroom shell and then the rest is all stainless steel so it won't rust over time. They work so well in the space because even when they're not on, they're still a really nice decorative feature. They almost look just like sculptures sitting in the garden and then the added functionality makes them that bit more impressive.